you know, you've been fine company. I'm in the mood for a crowd, Ryan. I, yes. Yeah, you know, he, he's he's another long, long tenured baseball player. 13 years of big league service under his elastic belt. What's up with these baseball belts, by the way? This guy came up with Oakland in 2007. He has pitched with the Nats, the Mets, the Braves. <laughs> recently in spring training with the Giants before baseball fever was overtaken by an actual deadly fever. Jerry Blevins, baby. Is this actually Jerry Blevins or is that Adam Driver? Yeah, so this is what quarantine does to me. I, all my hair is growing out. I've got this like mustache thing going on. It may be a, a two kid crisis or quarantine. I don't know, but I'm letting it fly. Remember these? Is that a pair? Is that my sock giveaway? Remember these, bud? What a, what a gentleman you are. These you are... had your own sock giveaway? That's so legit. I lobbied so hard to get a bobblehead giveaway that they were like, dude, we got to shut this guy up. And so they gave me a sock giveaway. Anybody can get a bobblehead, a saw, a pair of sock giveaway. That's taking it to another level. Jerry, I was hoping, I was hoping to be your, your big handsome face on the sock, but it's just the mess You're, logo. Whatever. Literally the only thing that had, was associated with me was like the, the part that goes around the socks to keep them together, had my face stamped onto them before they yeah. stapled it. But <laughs> Hey, I love it. I still get people talking about it. Full disclosure, I, I had a second pair of those socks, kept them intact, mint, and I sold them on eBay. <laughs> I was going to say, those are probably worth tens of cents. See, my, my kids are two under two, so uh, we don't have time to do anything except for make sure they're not killing themselves. That's basically what parenting is at this point because they have no sense of danger. And all it is is basically just, you know, preventing them from hurting themselves. So I'm, I'm constantly on edge running back and forth. My dad said, good luck. He said, we tried to hold, homeschool you three boys when you guys were younger, but two of you got suspended for fighting and the teacher got fired for drinking on the job. And I can totally get understand that now. Like, I, I get it. I do want to tell a quick Ryan Dempster story. Oh, uh, oh this is great. So I, it's 2007. I've Never been in the big league, so this is I'm in camp with the, the Cubs halfway through that season. I get traded to Oakland, but they called me up to back up a game in spring training, and it's my first time ever meeting most of these guys. And so I get in, I'm like, All right, I'm just gonna go sit in a corner, I'm not gonna be around anybody, I'm gonna shut up. So I'm sitting in the corner by myself. Uh, I'm assuming like BP got over because everybody started flooding in. And a certain left-handed reliever comes and sits next to me. He will remain unnamed, but I imagine Ryan will understand. And I'm sitting there, and he's sitting next to me. I'm trying not to say anything. And Dempster comes over, and he, like, squats down in front of this left-handed pitcher that sat down. Dempster goes, look, nobody hates you. You just talk too much. You have to understand when to shut your mouth. He goes, no, 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 no. Just be quiet. Everybody likes you. Just know, know when to just zip it up. And I'm sitting there just like, I'm, I'm not going to say a word for the next two oh years. Like, God. I'm never going to talk. My first September in, in Oakland, I'm sitting next to Nick Swisher. And that's who shared, I shared a locker with. Couldn't be a nicer guy. Talking my ear off. One of the most lovely, genuinely live-spirited human beings. And he's like, hey, Bliff. Talk to me. I was like, hey, I, I, I don't want to overstep my bounds. I, I learned my lesson the first day of my backing up. It's still some of the best advice I've ever gotten secondhand was just know when to shut up. Know when, know when you're beat. Just be quiet. And, and I've taken that to heart ever since. I won't throw him under the bus, but his name rhymes with Bill Noman. He gave me a glove that day. Uh, he pulled out a glove. I was like, oh, man, you got like 10 gloves. That's awesome. Yeah, I was like, oh, they even have your name on it. He had like a, his initials on it. I was like, that's cool. He goes, yeah, uh, they actually pay me for this. Do you want one? I was like, man, I can't believe it. Like, it was completely new to me that you could get paid to use a certain glove. I was like, you know, I had the same same glove I had with a with a Kirby Puckett in the, in, in the palm that I've used since I was like 11. <laughs> so actually, I, may, I used that glove for the first time when I got called up. It was my, the first glove I ever used in the big league. So he's, he's always had a piece of my heart. Isolate Night with Scott Rogowski, live every Sunday to Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern.